Hey guys, this is a demonstration of the auto tune feature on the Movi Chip ATF. So in summary, what this feature allows you to do is you set the target AFRs for your car and then the ATF will automatically make sure that your air fuel ratios are where you want it by tuning the MAF sensor. This video is specifically about the, the auto tuning function. Let's look at the low low for an example. Uh, we've got the target AFR of 15.3. Now when we start off now, the AFR is going to be, you know, high 13s, low 14s, somewhere around there. And as we drive along, you'll see the multiplier reduce and the target AFR and the AFR lie, the current AFR, become closer together until they are, you know, within 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 AFR. So this is what you're looking for in this demonstration, the uh, multiplier reduce and the uh, AFR live to be coming to match the target AFR. And to show you which which part we're in, the bar turns white. So basically, that's it. We're just going to drive now, and you can see these multipliers change. It won't take long. It's going to take you know less than a minute. It's super dynamic. It's constantly monitoring the AFRs. So we're just a light throttle here, and you can see the multipliers coming down. The AFR live is coming to match the target AFR. see that you know we're almost there for the low load so let's go to high load and the high load is a much faster rate of tune because obviously things are happening much faster at high load so we'll just go back to a low load map cruise if you like it's not exactly a cruise guys because the roads going up and down we've got corners and what have you but hopefully that gives you an idea, you know, it's given it a, a 7.9, we're at a thousand meters here, so this number could be a little bit different to ground level, but sea level, but you can see how fast the process changes, and, and then once it's in the ballpark, it's constantly fine-tuning the mass signal to get you to the AFR that you want the engine to have. So in this case, 15.3, you know, back on light throttle, the AFR is not going to be matching it all the time because you do have tipping throttle when you make adjustment to the throttle pedal. But after a while, at constant throttle, you can see that you know the AFR is in the ballpark. It's it's matching. And then just go back to full throttle or high throttle. So it will be going up, it will be going down, it's always going to be monitoring the, um, the MAF, uh, the AFR I should say. And you can see that you know, we're in the ballpark now, it's hovering around 0 0.86, 0 0.87 and the low load multiplier is in the ballpark also, it's going between sort of 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78. So that's how fast that process takes guys so this is just an extreme example when you start off with uh, settings that are nowhere near what they need to be so even when they're like that extreme settings it does uh, tune the uh, process uh, very quickly and gets you back to where you want to be so you can imagine how fast how accurate if you like the AFRs are when it starts off with figures that are in uh, the ballpark to start with and that comes from the uh, set menu. I will cover that in a separate video, so subscribe to the channel to uh, get updates on that. So that's this video, guys. Hopefully it's helped you understand the auto-tune function. Look after yourself, and I'll see you again next time.